it is very necessary that you should be pure in mind if you wish to be a brahmachari mental brahmacharya is more important you may succeed in physical brahmacharya but you must succeed in mental brahmacharya also that state of mind wherein no single sexual thought enters the mind is term mental brahmacharya if thoughts are impure the sex impulse will be very strong brahmacharya depends upon regulating the whole course of life when you cannot control the lustful thoughts at least control the physical body physical brahmacharya must be strictly practiced at first control the body when the sex impulse troubles you mental purity or mental brahmacharya will gradually manifest surely it is better to control the karma indriyas at least than to indulge actually in sensual pleasures gradually the thoughts will be purified if you persist in your japa and meditation eventually there will be direct control of the mind also a sexual act a sexual contact revives all bad ideas and gives them a new lease of life therefore the body should be controlled first physical brahmacharya must be maintained first then only you can achieve mental purity and mental brahmacharya you may be able to stop copulation for months and years but there should not be any sexual craving or attraction for women evil thoughts also should not arise when you look at a woman when you are in the company of women if you succeed in this direction then you are established in perfect brahmacharya you have crossed the danger zone thought is the real action an evil desire is tent amount to adultery the desire is more than the act but there is a great deal of difference between the actual shooting of a man and thinking to shoot a man between actual copulation and thinking to have intercourse with a woman philosophically speaking thinking to shoot a man or thinking to have copulation is the real act even if there is a single impure sexual thought in the mind you can hardly expect to have strict mental brahmacharya you cannot then be term as urdhvaritas or one in whom the seminal energy flows upwards towards the brain for being stored up as a ojas shakti there is a tendency for the semen to flow downwards even if it is a single impure thought the state of mental brahmacharya must be kept up even amidst temptation and sickness then only you are safe the senses begin to revolt during times of element and also when you come in contact with sense objects if thoughts of a lustful nature manifest in your mind it is due to hidden passion the cunning diplomatic mind seeks silent gratification by looking at a lady and talking to her mental maithunam takes place secretly or unconsciously the force that drags you is hidden passion the sex energy has not been sublimated thoroughly the vital being has not been regenerated and purified perfectly this is the reason why impure thoughts enter your mind do more japa and meditation do selfless service in some form for the society you will soon attain purity learn to cleanse your mind with the water of purity or celibacy with the soap of divine love how can you expect to become pure internally by merely washing the body with soap and water internal purity is more important than external purity continue the life of brahmacharya herein lies your spiritual progress and realization keep the mind fully occupied intense musing on the objects of sense does more harm to the inner spiritual life than actual sense gratification if the mind is not rendered pure by sadhana mere mortification of the external sense will not produce the desired effect although the external sense are mortified their internal counterparts which are still energetic and vigorous revenge upon the mind and produce intense mental 
disturbance and wild imagination. It is the mind that really does all actions. A desire arises in your mind and then you think. Then you proceed to act. The determination of the mind is to put into action. First there is a sankalpa or thought and then comes action. Therefore, do not allow the sexual thoughts to enter the mind. No space is empty at any time. This is the law of nature. If one thing is removed from a place immediately, another comes in to take its place. The same law holds good in the case of inner mental world also. Therefore, it is necessary to entertain sublime divine thoughts to replace evil thoughts. As you think, so you become. This is the immutable psychological law. The vicious mind is gradually divinized by entertaining divine thoughts.